Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing how to do this granny stitch hexagon shirt. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please hit like and subscribe for any future videos. And just before we go, this one was made in men's. So if you do uh, want to make for men's, follow what I say or otherwise just look up for instructions on the video for women's. Thank you so much and let's get into the video. So you will need two colors of yarn, one in your main color and secondary one as well. So for the main one you will need about six to seven balls depending on your uh, size. And it's a 50 gram one, so 50 gram, six to seven balls and it's paint box double neck yarn in color light champagne then for your secondary color you will need three to four balls and it's from stylecraft naturals it's 100 percent cotton as well that's i believe 50 grams yeah and in color cardoon so from six to seven of your main color three to four for your secondary you will need four millimeter hook as well, a couple of stitch markers, needle to hide the tails in, and a pair of scissors. So we will start off by making one of the hexagons. So you want to make a slip knot, make a loop, pull your tail through, and then put your hook into this slip knot chain four and then slip stitch with the first chain you made so we are gonna make this ring here in which we will be working so pull up a loop and make a slip stitch you should have a circle here, so this is where we will be working in. But to start off, you want to chain two, which will be your first double crochet, and then make two double crochets into that circle. So yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two again. That's one double crochet and another one. That's gonna count as three double crochets with this chain. Chain two and make another three double crochets inside. Chain two. And you will be doing three double crochets, chain two, until you have total of six those clusters with the chain two in between. So for your first round, you will need a total of six groups of three double crochets and chain two in between. I've got three now, that's half of what I need. And I've now got six groups of three double crochet, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will need to chain two just to have that space between those groups as well and we will slip stitch into the top chain of our chain two and then we need to make our way into this corner to start row two or round two so you want to make slip stitches in the next two double crochets and then third slip stitch into that chain space 
and we will chain two again to start row two we will make another two double crochets into that space then chain two and another three double crochets into that same space So this is our corner. I'm going to chain one and I will repeat the same thing of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So I've got three now and I'm going to chain two and make three double crochets into that same space. So that's our second corner. You want to chain one and then do the same thing into this. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in that same space, chain one and do the same in this, chain one and do the same in this, and then same in here as well. So you only chain to where your quarter is. So in each of those, you will chain two, but in between of them, it's only chain one. So I chained one and I will do three double crochets. I'm gonna chain two because this is my corner and again, three double crochets. And I'm only chaining one because this is our side and then I will repeat this one two three times and I'll meet you at the end here and I'm now at the end so I want to chain one after my last corner to join it with this chain two so I like to go into both loops and pull up a loop then slip stitch and this is how it will look so far so you will always have six corners one two three four five and six so where the chain two is is your corner and where chain one is is your side with each row your uh, sides will increase so for row three we will only have one cluster of three double crochets for side then for next row it's gonna be two for one side and so on to begin row three as always we want to go with the slip stitches until we reach our chain two space which is our corner and for the corner we will always have three double crochets chain two and three double crochets into that same space so chain two to begin that's going to be your first double crochet. Make another two double crochets and chain two. Do another three double crochets into that same space. Chain one. And into this space, which is our side, we will do three double crochets. And then chain one. This is our corner here. So we will do three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets into that same space. And chain one 
So we've now completed one side from corner to corner. And as you can see for our next row, we will have two spaces. So two clusters of three and which with each row it will increase. So you want to repeat the same thing for all of the sides, meaning where is chain two, you're going to do corner, whereas chain one is just a side, so three uh, double crochets. So repeat that all around and I'll meet you here at the end. So I just completed my last corner for row three and I have to do three double crochets for the side, so chain one. Three double crochets in this last chain one space then chain one and slip stitch into the top chain for a second chain here as always we will slip stitch in the next two stitches and then slip stitch into this chain two space chain two to begin which is our first double crochet and we will start our round number four so from round three it's always basically the same thing it's just one cluster of three double crochets more so we had one for the side for row three and we will have two in these two spots here so each of the side increases but the pattern remains the same so i'm going to show you for the last time because from now on the pattern is just exactly the same so it always starts with the corner and for the corner we will be doing three double crochets chain two and three double crochets Then chain one, we will do clusters of three double crochets in the next one. Chain one, another three clusters of double crochet in next space here. chain one and this is our corner here so for the corner it's three double crochets then chain two and another three double crochets And chain one so this is how it will look after doing one side as you can see we now have two clusters for the side and it will be two for each then for the next row it's gonna be three four five and so on it will increase by one cluster for one side with each of the row so you want to just continue around until you can join it with the chain two here so I'm now at my last chain one space. I'm going to chain one after this cluster and do three double crochets before I can join this round. So that's the end of round four. Chain one and slip stitch into the chain two here. There it is. And to start next row, you want to make slip stitches until you make into this chain two space which is our corner and you will, will begin your next row so you will chain two and continue with the pattern around just bear in mind that it will increase with each time so your corners are these highest points where the chain two is so you will be doing corners into those spaces and just the clusters in those and this is round four so you want to continue until you have a total of 10 rows this doesn't fit in a shot but this is how your 10 rows would look like that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and as you can see 
it always increases by one cluster. So we started with none of them, then we had one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And this is where we will be changing color. So once you have completed your 10 rows, you want to chain one after the end of your last cluster and insert your hook into the second chain. Pull up a loop and do a slip stitch. Then you can chain one and finish off. So cut your yarn off, pull through. And just before we continue, I would suggest hiding this starting tail in just to make sure that it doesn't come out. So you want to pull it really tight on the wrong side and using your needle, just go in a couple of rounds, weaving it in. So just gonna insert in my needle and I like to go around that same circle, pulling it very tight and then you can cut your tail off. That should be secure enough, so I'm just gonna grab my scissors, I'll cut it off, and then we will continue with our rows. So this is how it's looking so far. If you fold it in half, basically these two corners together, it should straight away fold into tiny cardigan as you can see, so that would be your sleeve. And then this is the main front and back, or it can be either way, to be honest, because these two pieces are exactly the same. If you do hold it this way, it's going to turn into something looking like this. So just to make sure that you're folding two nearest corners, and that's it. And this is how you turn it into this shape. But for next three rows, we want to insert our new color. So we are ignoring those stitches because we are not using this one anymore. So we can go into our next corner space where we would normally slip stitch through. Grab your new color. I've got mine here. Insert it with your hook. Chain one, just to secure that and then we will chain another two as our first double crochet. So we will be doing the same exact thing for the corner as always, another two double crochets. So we have three with that chain we made, chain two, and another three double crochets. And then you want to continue with this new color for another three rows. So keep doing your clusters in chain one space, chain one to do another one. And when you reach your corner, you will be doing the same two clusters and chain two in between. And then I'll meet you at the end of those three rounds. So at the end of the row 13, you want to go into that chain two after you chain one, just to slip stitch and we will start working back with the main color. Cut your yarn off chain one and pull through. We will be inserting our yarn into the corner again. So just grab your main color, put it on your hook and pull through. 
chain one to secure and chain two for your first double crochet then as always we will be doing our corner and continuing as normal for our next row so with this main color you want to make three rows again once you finish doing those three rows in your main color you want to grab two stitch markers and insert them into this top corner of our sleeve so basically if you fold it in half and then where you have your hook put your stitch marker in and then the one into second as well so this is the side that we will not be working in and our sleeve is not gonna get any longer at this point so if you want that you can continue making rows as many times as you want to get your sleeve longer but from now on I'm just gonna turn my work the right side up and as always I'm gonna chain two but this time working from the wrong side because remember this is not the side we will be working in and just because it's not in rounds anymore we will need to work in rows so after you chained two make two double crochets into that same space then chain one and keep working as normal doing clusters into chain one spaces and your corners where you have chain two space and then i'll meet you at the end where my stitch marker is i'm now nearly at the end i have chain one space here left so i'm gonna do my three double crochets chain one as always and i've reached my corner so i'm gonna do three double crochets into that one as well so it's not gonna be our corner anymore we are just finishing our row so just like here we have one cluster we will finish this one with one cluster as well then we want to chain three so chain two is for our double crochet and chain one is our turning or the space chain and you want to turn your work and begin next row so your row will start with cluster for the previous row then it's going to be start with one double crochet into the next chain one space we're going to make Three double crochets chain one and continue making those until you reach your next chain two space to do the corner and repeat all around until you reach your stitch marker and your row will also end with one double crochet so not with the cluster this time with a double crochet but I'll show you at the end so I'm now at the end of my row which is by the way row number 18 I have my last cluster here so I'm gonna do three double crochets then chain one and like I said we need to finish with one double crochet because we had a cluster here before so into that chain two make a double crochet and this is how your row should end then you want to continue for one more round in this color so to start next one you want to chain two which is going to be your double crochet and 
turn your work and do two double crochets into this chain one space and this row again starts with the cluster chain one and just keep doing your clusters for this round and again this row will end with the cluster as well so each of the row starts and ends the same so you have a cluster then one double crochet cluster and it would be uh, one by one so ba basically every other one will end with a cluster or a double crochet so do this for your row 19 and i'll meet you at the end Now at the end of row 19, I have two spaces left. So I'm gonna make three double crochets in each of those with the chain in between. So I've got three now, chain one and three double crochets in the last one. And don't pull through your yarn through last two loops. Leave it like that and I'm gonna insert my new color here which is green again so you will need to change to your secondary color as well. Tighten it up a bit and chain three. I can now cut my main color yarn and I will be hiding this later. And what you need to do now is just to continue with the green yarn for another three rows. So that's gonna make you till the round of 22. So basically you will have 22 rows after you do another three in green. And it will be just exactly the same. This one will start with the double crochet and end with the double crochet. Your next one will start with the cluster and end with the cluster and your third one We'll again start with the double crochet, which is chain two and one, and it will end exactly the same. So keep uh, doing those three rows of your secondary color. And at the end of your round 22, you just want to do chain one after your last cluster and then do double crochet in your top chain here. So put your hook in, pull up a loop and do your double crochet. And this is how it should look. So when you started, it was a double crochet, then a cluster and a double crochet. For the next row, you want to insert your new color through your last double crochet here which is the background color again. Pull through, pull it tight to secure, and we can cut off our green yarn now. Then chain two, turn your work, and for row 23, you will do exactly the same. So do two double crochets into that chain one space to start off. And keep doing your clusters till you reach your chain two space to do the corner and so on till you reach the end of the row and I'll meet you there. When you reach the end of uh, row 23 just do a double crochet in the top chain here and then chain one and you can cut your yarn to finish off. So pull through, and this is how it will be looking. 
when you work in the rounds, you always kind of have corners and clusters, but when working in rows, one row has a cluster, second one has a double crochet only cluster and so on. So you really want to make sure that one row has double crochet, then it's cluster, otherwise your row will decrease in stitches. But once you've finished your row 23, you want to fold your work. So I'm just gonna find my ending. Yeah. So you will be always folding nearest uh, two corners. So basically we had our corners here. There's one where I have a stitch marker and a second one. So I'm gonna fold these two together. And when, when I fold it, this is where I have finished off. So I can now take these stitch markers out. And just because we finished off here, our sleeve, so I'm just gonna put that facing to the left, but it's our right sleeve. So we've stopped doing sleeve in length a while ago at the point of this and after we have finished these rows we will stop doing the shoulder part so this size of the sleeve will not increase and it won't widen up so if you need that to be wider you should continue with the rows and once you're happy with the wideness of your sleeve you can then continue with the pattern but if that fits then just continue and I'll show you what to do next. So once you've got your work with the sleeve facing to the left and this bottom part here facing down, so it's just basically your front and back pieces, you want to put two stitch markers in into corner of this. So your sleeve is here. I do apologize, it's really hard to show because it's a really huge piece but it's basically the corner where our second hexagon will be joined. So that's the back piece. And this one is a front piece where you would normally button up if you have buttons in. So from now on, we will be working into rows here and then throughout the bottom as well. So we work on to the side and then finish off here. So it's gonna be only two corners and three sides so you want to put your hook in where you have a stitch marker into the one that is on the right side and you want to grab your yarn put it over your hook pull it through and chain one to secure Then, uh, as always, we're gonna chain two to begin. That's gonna count as a double crochet. And we will do two double crochets into that same space. Chain one and do your cluster in the next one. And continue with this as always. When reaching chain two space, you will do a corner and then you will repeat that cluster with a chain one and another corner until you reach your second stitch marker and I'll see you at the end when you finish your row 24 you will finish with the cluster in your last chain two space and then you want to fold your work back together again because we're only going to do one row for this side and then basically all we left to do is two rows but we will do them from where we have our hook in here so leave this stitch marker in here take this one out so we won't be working into this front side 
at all now and you want to insert your stitch marker to the corner of your bottom of the hexagon so basically this is your back piece so you have your stitch stitch marker here and you want to insert it insert it into the corner of a front piece here so all we we'll work is this back side and this bottom one so we will only have one corner and two sides and you want to do two rows so you will end with 26 rows so once again we're gonna chain three that's gonna be double crochet and chain one we will turn our work and we will do clusters of three double crochets in each with the chain one in between until we reach our chain two space or a corner and when you do at the end of your row 25 in the last chain two space make three double crochets to finish off this row chain two and turn your work for your last row so for row 26 you'll do exactly the same it's just gonna start with a double crochet and chain one so you have to chain three and in the next chain one space do three double crochets as always and continue for this last row When you reach the end of your 26th row, just finish off with the last three double crochet cluster in your last chain one space. Chain one to finish off. And at this point, if you want your um, shirt to be bigger you would need to continue working for this row and if you want it longer you would need to make more rows as well i'm gonna finish this off here if that suits you you can finish it off as well but you could just simply continue making those rows to make it made to measure and now we will be joining our sleeve together so the shoulder part and you want to fold your work right sides in and once you have folded it you want to align it all together so just bear in mind that your front piece has two rows of white and your back has four so we want to slip stitch until we reach this point Or you could finish off and attach it once again just to save myself one tail I'm gonna go with the slip stitches until I reach this point and I will now start joining it together so I'll be using slip stitch method so once again into that same spot and then into the very corner of our row that we have here Pull up a loop and do a slip stitch. You should soon reach your stitches but now it's the side so it's quite difficult to uh, explain where to do a slip stitch but just basically try to work around the edge I'm gonna take my stitch marker out now And my stitches begin from here so I have my chain here I'm gonna insert that into the chain and make sure that you go into chain here for your second panel as well and now the stitches of double crochets
So keep doing that till the very end of your sleeve. It's gonna end here. So you will do slip stitches across this side, making sure that each of the cluster is aligned. At the very end, you will have your last slip stitch into the double crochet and double crochet. So just do that and then chain one to secure. You can cut your yarn off and pull it through. You will need to hide the tails in, but it will look something like this when you pull the right side out. So your joined rows will look something like this. It is a bit pushing it inside, but it will straighten out with wearing, or you could also block it out. But yeah, so we did our right sleeve here. I have it facing to the left, but it, this is our right side piece. You will now need to go ahead and make exact same one, but when you do it, make sure, especially for these two last rows, make sure you have laying this way so you're making actually the left side and just not mix up between these two panels so your back should be on this one and your front on this one and then once you've got a second one done I'll show you how to join them together so once you've finished your both hexagons I've got one here that I've joined and second one as well so this is now laying right side down. So this is our right side here as well. You want to put the back pieces together from the top to the bottom and you want to kind of grab them both. So the right sides are facing each other, meaning that we have our work wrong side out. And this is where we will be joining it together from the wrong side. So you want to in insert your hook into the chain one. So there's two chains that we made. We will leave this one on the right unjoined because it's gonna be for the bottom part. And you want to put your hook through both of those chains. Try to go through bow loops as well. Then you want to grab your yarn, pull it through both panels, and chain one to secure. And then into every single stitch, making sure that you're aligning them all. So where you have double crochets is double crochets, and when you join chains, is with the chains and not the double crochet so that it, it is aligned and you will be continuing till the very top of your panel so you should be stopping at this point here so keep doing slip stitches along the side and i'll meet you at the end when you finish all slip stitches just chain one, cut your yarn off and pull through. This is how it will look from the right side once joined. So this is the middle part of your both pieces. And now the only part that's left to do is the color. So grab your green yarn again or your secondary color and we will do the color part. So I now have my work right side up. This is the part of the color part that we will be doing. So basically you need to choose how long your color should be. I've counted 21 chain one spaces from this corner up till here and then I lined it up with this one. So you can choose any length you want or do exactly the same. So it's 21 chain spaces from the bottom corner 
up till here and then you kind of line it up to match on the other side so you want to grab it right side as well grab your hook and your yarn and you want to join it into this corner so attach your yarn chain one to secure it and then chain two and do another two double crochets in this spot so the color is made out of the same granny stitch pattern so we will chain one and do three double crochets in the next chain space and we will kind of be repeating this all around so i'm gonna do my clusters up to here and i'll show you how to do it in this part so i now have five clusters of three double crochets and i've reached the point of our back joint so i'm not gonna do the cluster in this little tiny hole here straight away i'm gonna go into this big one so after you chain one just do three double crochets again chain one and then the next hole that we have is here but we really need to make one cluster of three double crochets in the middle where we have joined this so it's not a space to be exact but i've chained one and i'll do two double crochets in here and then one and the next one so it's not really a space like i said but we need that middle so you can either do one and then two in the next or three because that's our middle then you've chained one and you will do three double crochets in the next chain one we will skip this one again and all we need to do now is five clusters of three double crochets so i'm gonna do them and i'll meet you at the end so I've now reached my last chain space where I have my stitch marker in. I did three double crochets in that one space. And for the next row, I'm gonna chain three. So two for double crochet and one for the chain space. And we will flip our work to do row two. This is how it's looking so far. This is from the wrong side. And after you chained three, you want to continue with double crochets, three of them in each chain one space with the chain one in between. So chain one after you did three double crochets and into the next chain one space and just continue till you reach the end of this row and I'll show you how to finish it at the end. Once you did your last cluster here, you will need to do double crochet into the chain two here. Try to pull that by two loops so i'm trying to pull my hook in through both of them which is quite tricky because it is really tight but there we are and make a double crochet so you now want to repeat rows one and two as many times as you want depending on how wide you want your color to be I'm going to finish mine and I'll show you how it looks like all finished up. But basically your even, uh, even rows will be starting with a double crochet or a chain two and ending the same. And your 
odd rows will be starting with the cluster. So you're now going to do odd number, which is row three. It will start with cluster, so chain two and then continue with the pattern. Um, at the end of my row five for the color, I'm basically, I'm happy how long and wide it, wide it is. You could continue for more rows or even make less, but this is how it looks once folded. And I'm gonna finish off now. You can cut your yarn off, chain one, and pull through. And all you left to do is to hide all of the tails that you've got. You can take the stitch markers out. So yeah, I just need to hide those tails in. But the color is looking like that. So that, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this is a quite hard thing to do, but if you do have any questions or if you need any help, put the comments down below as well as any recommendations for any tutorials you might want. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.